So my name is uh, Diogo Martins Branco. I'm a Portuguese medical oncologist and I'm currently a medical research fellow at the academic trials promoting team uh, of clinical trial support unit at Institut Jules Bordet uh, in Brussels, Belgium. And uh, I thank the, the possibility of uh, VJ Oncology to present a summary uh, of our um, meta-analysis that we presented here at San Antonio uh, that was distinguished as well with a Clinical Scholars Award by the organizing committee. So in a nutshell, um, uh, our meta-analysis uh, showed a strong association between uh, post-new adjuvant endocrine therapy um, CHI-67 index uh, with survival endpoints such as recurrence-free survival and overall survival. Um, basically, at the beginning, we thought that uh, knowing that new adjuvant, in, in, uh, new adjuvant treatments help uh, tailoring the, the, the pause new adjuvant treatments, uh, for example, as we saw before in triple negative uh, disease and also in R2 positive uh, um, breast cancer, early breast cancer, um, we know that uh, for luminal disease, uh, the proportion of complete pathological response is rather smaller than uh, in the other subtypes. Uh, so. Uh, uh, we, we aim to assess if CHI-67 was uh, a useful surrogate uh, of survival endpoints. So that's why we put in place this systematic review and meta-analysis of the data we know uh, were uh, previously published uh, um, by other authors. Uh, so uh, we did a systematic uh, literature search in databases and conference proceedings of uh, all the clinical trials and cohort studies um, publishing uh, uh, data about CHI-67 index after uh, neoadjuvant endocrine therapy and associating this uh, value uh, of CHI-67 after treatment um, with the survival outcomes such as recurrence-free survival and overall uh, survival. We restricted the studies included in the meta-analysis for um, uh, reports of data where we can extract uh, data of patients that exclusively receive uh, uh, neoadjuvant endocrine therapy therapy, meaning that uh, uh, whenever it was not possible to, to, ex to distinguish from patients that also received chemotherapy, uh, these data were not included uh, in, the, in the study. Uh, we found 11 uh, records uh, out of the, 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 the title and abstract screening and full text screening. And out of these 11 studies, uh, nine were clinical trials. One was a pooled analysis uh, of, of two clinical trials and the last one was a cohort study. And the majority of, of uh, patients were postmenopausal and uh, uh, received aromatase inhibitors as new adjuvant endocrine therapy. Uh, we also um, uh, didn't find any, uh, out of these 11 studies, none of, the, or none of them uh, reported data uh, about the use of uh, um, new adjuvant uh, CDK4-6 inhibitors, because none of the studies reported uh, um, the association of CHI-67 with, uh, with survival endpoints. And we also acknowledge that um, these studies did not restrict the use of adjuvant chemotherapy uh, after uh, the treatment with new adjuvant endocrine therapy, meaning that patients with high clinical risk were mostly treated with uh, post-new adjuvant chemotherapy. Um, also, the, important to say that the median follow-up was quite mature, about 5.5 years for recurrence-free survival and 6 years for overall survival. And out of these meta-analyses of 11 studies and more than uh, uh, 4,200 patients included in the analysis, we found actually that uh, uh, there was a, a pooled hazard ratio of 2.43, which is quite relevant and statistically significant uh, for uh, a higher risk of um, development of recurrence or death for patients with high CHI-67 after new adjuvant endocrine therapy. The, the magnitude of the effect was also uh, reproduced in uh, overall survival with an hazard ratio, combined hazard ratio of 2.66, uh, uh, meaning that these patients would have a high, uh, a 2.66 higher risk of developing uh, um, uh, an overall survival event. And we also did a systematic uh, sensitivity analysis uh, for uh, 
uh, the three studies that were included and that assessed the uh, CHI-67 post-new adjuvant endocrine therapy in a pre-planned uh, uh, core biopsy which occurred between two to four weeks. And even in these uh, trials that uh, experienced a short course of new adjuvant endocrine therapy, um, the magnitude of the effect was uh, reproducible as well uh, as we showed for a recurrence free survival in the, in the whole sample of studies included. Uh, also statistically significant. So in conclusion, uh, our study um, brought more strong uh, uh, evidence about the use of, uh, of CHI-67 pos new adjuvant endocrine therapy in uh, hormone receptor positive R2 negative early breast cancer patients as a valid uh, um, prognostic biomarker. And we believe as well that this data will bring more evidence for the use of CHI-67 post new adjuvant endocrine therapy as a, a, a useful endpoint for clinical trial development in a, a new adjuvant setting uh, and also uh, uh, in the future to be validated or strongly validated as a, a biomarker that would help us uh, tailoring uh, the post new adjuvant treatment for patients uh, with high risk uh, to receive a, a, a more intense adjuvant uh, treatment after new adjuvant endocrine therapy.